Welcome to Backyard Plinky. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, ammo. Before we get started, uh, somebody had uh, asked me a question. Sorry. I wrote your name down so I wouldn't forget it. You know, I'm getting old and senile and I can't find the paper I wrote it on. Anyway, the question was about the Humor X Steel Force, barrel length specifically. Um, the official listing on here, I, I sent an email, I, there's nothing that's on the package or anything like that, but the official listing for the length of the barrel is 7.5 inches, right? So it's almost like a, a pistol barrel, a, a SBR setup has to do with the magazine and you know the way the feed is on it the other question was about you know uh, being able to shoot something full auto you know for thousands of dollars less yes it is a lot of fun uh, you know you pull the trigger and you know that there's six rounds that are coming out of this thing that are headed towards the target I've been fortunate enough over the years to uh, had the chance to shoot you know, several things in full auto, most of it, the smaller caliber, you know, uh, the 5.56, a, a P90, which is the um, 57 by 28 caliber, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP. The, the 45 ACP actually's got a lot more jump than you think. This one doesn't have a whole lot of jump, but a whole lot of satisfaction. Anyway. This is actually why we're here. It's a four inch chrome revolver. It's all metal, BB only, CO2 powered. It is from Bear River. You drop the cylinder out of it, just like you would a regular revolver. It comes with six cartridges. What you do is you take the BB, stick it in the end, press it down a little bit, it lodges into place, then we load it. Just like a regular revolver. Would it be super practical? No. But it's got a cool factor. The safety is here. You pull all the way back. Push forward once. It's in fire. If you push again, the cylinder drops out. Right? It's a fiber optic rear sight. It is fully adjustable. Elevation, windage, the whole nine yards. The front sight is fixed. Right? See, I get a little white paint that's on there because it's chrome just like the rest of it and <clears throat> when I took it out the other day it was a little hard to see what the sun reflected in my face. It does have two Picatinny type rails, one on top, one located here. Um, they send a, a small Allen wrench. It's on the instructions so you need to look as things hard to find that you can use to take the screws out to take the rails off if you want. That's where CO2 goes in. Simple turn tile at the bottom, put it in there, spin it up, close it back. Nothing to it. <coughs> now, let's share a little something with you about this. I got this, um, I guess like right after Thanksgiving and it sat around here for a day or so before I could get to it but I would pick it up and look at it in a package and it's like eh, something looked a little off the hammer wasn't all the way up and the cylinder was a little you know it just it looked wrong so when I I finally got the chance to take it out I was right 
the cylinder wouldn't rotate. You could get it to rotate if you pulled on the hammer and kind of rotated it around. But even then, if you squeeze the trigger, the hammer wouldn't go all the way up. So instead of taking it back to where I bought it, which, I mean, I could have at that time, I contacted Bear River. You know, let's find out. Let's find out who these guys are and how they work. They were super nice. They were super apologetic. Oh, gee whiz, you know, we're sorry that, you know, you're having issues and whatever. Um, sent it back to us, let us look at it. So I did. I had to pay the shipping to get it to Fort Smith, Arkansas. They had to pay the shipping to get it back. But uh, they didn't repair it. They, they sent another one. They sent a complete replacement and uh, followed up a little bit and make sure everything was okay. They don't know me from anybody. So they were nice enough to work with. Not bad. This thing, depending on where you pick it up, uh, this one come right off of the shelf. Uh, it's going to be anywhere from $69 to $79. I've, I've seen them listed both ways in different locations. All right. Shot it a couple of times. I haven't had a chance to get out here and really get the sight set or anything like that. But enough talking. I shoot it. Think difference when you run out of rounds. <laughs> so, drop the cylinder, take the cartridges out, we start all over again. Now, there are, and I should have done my due diligence, they do have um, cartridges for, uh, the, well, Bear River's got several of them. They have one that's reminiscent of the, the 44 Magnum. This one obviously is reminiscent of the 357. Um, they've got one for the uh, reminiscent of the old Schofield, you know, where the brake action barrel that's on there. But they have cartridges like this that you're supposed to be able to put back in there that actually hold pellets instead of BBs. So I'm going to see if I can get my hands on some of those for for this thing, we might have to come back and revisit this thing at some other time. All right. The little membrane that is on here, I mean, it's it's pretty stiff, but there is, I think there was a notation that was in there somewhere, and, and I'm quite sure eventually this thing is gonna wear out where it doesn't really wanna hang on to the BVs. See on the back of these things is just, you know, a hole. So CO2 pressure goes all the way through and forces the uh, forces around out. Let's see if we can put six more out there. It will fire single action or double. Of course, <clears throat> firing double action on this thing is uh, just like a real revolver. There's a lot of stuff going on, and it's sometimes it's a little hard to hold on the target. I have to come up with something to try this with. Four inch chrome revolver. Bear River. Until next time, my name is Charles. It's been back.